And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. Just Jewel here, along with... C. Mm -hmm. And this week we're sporting the latest from Boker, Civivi, TFG, and Ontario. Again? Yes. Hmm. But don't worry, guys. We have a huge selection this week. So we have fixed blades, we got flippers, we got slip joints. I mean, we have it all. We have it all. 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 So, first up, we're just going to get right to it, is the Boker Long Lead EDC. So, it's 7.24 inches overall with a 3.158 CR 13 MOV satin finish blade, which has a flat grind and is opened via the nail nick. There it is. This knife also features lightly contoured black G10 handle scales, which are made to fit comfortably in the hand. This gentleman's pocket knife also has a tip down right hand carry clip, which closes in a simple and effective way. Designed with a non locking slip joint. Available at AtlantaKnife.com. Uh oh, I forgot my sign. Uh huh, for just $32.84. Yeah. Did I really need it, though? Because didn't you just hear the ding yeah. in your mind? Yeah, but we need this sign because yeah. it's nice. It, I agree. It is. Okay, what do you have to say about the Boker Long Lead? Well, I mean, for a slip joint, I mean, it's a nice knife. It kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, a sod buster a little mm -hmm. bit. I mean, the blade shape isn't the same, but I mean, it's nice. I like it. What do you think? It's okay. I don't really think it's a gentlewoman's knife. I mean, color's kind of blah, but slip joints aren't my thing either. So I think it is a, a good EDC, especially for the materials. It's a good price. I'd say it'd make a good, you know, everyday man's knife. Wow. Yeah. The gentle women out there are going to be very upset. I don't think they are. You insulted them. All right, next. I think that's your job. The Boker Shiny EDC. That's another slip joint. We're catering to all this week, so we're going to do some slip joints. All right. You can do this fix. Do I have to? <laughs> yes. All yes, right. Yes, you have to. This Boker is a massive 5.5 inch overall with a 2.36 <laughs> inch 8CR13 MOV steel blade. Yeah. It's opened with the nail nick, like the last one. Yeah. The handle scales are stainless steel and feature a practical lanyard hole. Yeah, I like the little backspace around this one. Mm -hmm. And it's just $24.84 at AtlanticKnife.com. Okay, I will go first. Okay. This knife is okay. And just kind of like the last one, it's good for the price. You can definitely get use out of it. Gentleman's carrier no. Um, either slip joint is going to do the cutting test. Uh, mm -hmm. Within reason, of course, you can't like go and you know start sawing at a tree. I'm I, not crazy about the polish. See, I think what's happening is we are falling into the knives that we like, the 60, the 80, the $100 knives, and then the $20 knife comes up, which everybody buys, I might add. Yes. Even the people who buy the $60, $80 knives buy, buy the $20 knives, too. Yeah. We look at it and go, well, it's a nice knife. <laughs> that means and we're, we're not fond of slip joints. So That might be our problem. But yeah. we're trying to do some Boker. Not sure if we're it's trying our to do our problem. Or our not. problem. Mm -hmm. What? Obviously, Boker is a very popular brand. A very, very popular. So obviously, mm -hmm. they're going to make knives that people want. And people buy slip joints. I mean, oh, yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like a, a, a pocket knife. A traditional yes old now pocket for knife. a traditional pocket knife in a metallic shiny way that's nice this would kill me to have i would not I'd be able to carry this i would uh, not have to <laughs> let's move on to the next one next okay. blade on the table is a boker little lamb foot yeah we're just knocking out the new bokers aren't we yep mm -hmm. yes we are and i have to say this is my favorite and of the new more, boker the so far there is there's lots more we just ahead. didn't have enough time give to them next week easy to take wherever you go not super expensive either either i i do like the materials especially on the handle and the back and for the price you really can't complain yeah all right have a little lamb foot for 27.48 i like this one landknife.com go ahead all right so just as lucky a little, a little rabbit's foot, I have to say. I definitely carry this one. So this frame lock is a modern interpretation of the farmer's knife, or the claw knife. A perfect compact design, this folder makes optimum use of its 2.05 inch sheep's foot 8CR13 MOV straight edge blade, along with the drop shaped thumb opening. So there it is. The front scale is a textured black G10, while the back is stainless steel. 
Boop. This carry also has a decorative milling and blue pivot cap accent, which we know that you'll love. <laughs> Along with a lanyard hole and black deep carry tip up right pocket clip. <sighs> That's mouthful there. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll let you go first. What are your thoughts on oh, this? Oh, I got good thoughts on this. Let's get good. Let's get good. It's not a slip joint. It's not a slip joint. I like that. It's a frame lock. I like yes. this. Do you remember that uh, ZT from last year or two? I knew you were going to bring that up because it's got the same type of feel mm -hmm. and it's got the blue Blink, pink. whatever. Yeah. I think it's about 200 bucks. What did you call it? A, a gay Galian? Galian. Galian. Something like that. It's almost like you slammed together gay alien. Galian. Wow. That's, That's cool. a person's name, wasn't it? Gaylord Fucker, I think. No, I think the Galian was named after somebody. Oh, who yeah. Who designed it. I, I think remember. it was. Maybe it was. I like this knife better. So do I. Yeah. I, it, I like how it's designed. It's great. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I mean, I'd rather have a little flipper. Like, a, I think it's the Contrail that has the flipper on the Kaisers. Because they made a lot of little knives oh, yeah. like this. They got the Flip Shank. I like that one. And they got the Contrail. And they got the Lieb. Which are all kind of little compact, bulky folders. And I like this one from But Boca. they're not in the $20 range either. That's Whoops. I, did I give it away already? I think we are. Oh, I think I already told me it was twenty four seventy nine in it. Lineknife.com. Here's that thing again. You didn't give anything away. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. And they each come with a little tin, which. Joel loves tins. Put Altoids in it or survival. Who knows? You know. Morse code it. Okay. All right. Okay. So our next knife on the table is long awaited. It is the Civivi Elementum. In fixed blade form. It's leveled up. Yeah. But before we get to it, we need you to please hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. All right. That way you give us something to smile about. I don't think they really need to give you something to smile at. I hear you've already got something to smile about. Oh, yes. You're, well, you're half right. Half right? Yeah. I'm absolutely She said right. she's leaving now. She's, she's, she's getting a truck. The guys were there. The truck didn't show up. Didn't you say something about hauling four suitcases of stuff in her yeah, car? Yeah. She put, I, she, while I was outside the other day, I saw her carry suitcases out to her car. Mini. And put them in the trunk and in the back seat. Ah. Mm-hmm. Sounds but like she's moving. as far as I'm concerned, I didn't know she even had suitcases up in her room. Oh but what am I supposed to How else are we supposed to move up to her your room? Her cat's still here. The cat box is still in her room. And all that other stuff is still in there. You know. So, mm -hmm. and hey, mm -hmm. first of the month came, $5 check was dropped for the cable. So, you know. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. She's going to stay here the whole month because she paid for cable already. Yeah, I'm about to tell her we don't prorate around here, buddy. I still can't over the fact that she gives you five dollars for cable. Well, what she doesn't, cable she doesn't she give get? it to me. She gives it to my wife. She specifically writes a check to her. But it's five dollars. Mm -hmm. That doesn't cover even a quarter of the cable. It covers bill. her box. Does it? Probably when we first got it. I imagine it's probably increased since then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, five dollars. That's okay. Well. So make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you can be entered in the AK giveaways. This week we will be announcing. The winners of the best tech fangas. All right. Okay, so in green on the YouTube. The YouTube. The YouTube, yes. Sounds better that way. It is none other than X on my head X. Dude, you won. Sweet. Dude. So, oh, wait a minute. We've done yeah. this before. And then? Wow. No ending. And then both bits went on a bit too long for mm -hmm. me. I can still not believe that the, they got those tattoos. I don't think they're the worst movie tattoos I've seen, though. I saw bridesmaids. They had a tattoo of a Mexican drinking worm. I'm not gonna give you the background. I'm, I looked into the see if that was real. Oh, there's lots of them. I don't have words. You got down the mall cop, the eagle, <laughs> Loch Ness monster. <laughs> yeah. How what about, about you guys? Follow the white rabbit. That one was decent though. I would actually mm -hmm. consider putting that rabbit on. Oh, well, it my was arm. on a lady, so you know. Yeah, a lady. It'd been Morpheus that had the white rabbit. It We'd been in trouble then, wouldn't we? That would have been interesting to pull off. Mm -hmm. All right, so back to the giveaways. That's just you always going off on a tangent, oh, denying yes. people their free knives. Me going so off on a tangent. So the winner of the Carbon Fiber Best Tech Fenga over on Land Knife's blog is Matthew Fisher. Wow, wait a minute. Nice pause there. I did, I did. Not. Congratulations to all the winners. Make sure to email sales on landknife.com to claim your knives. Yep, get past the gatekeeper. Yep. For those who didn't win this time, we've got you. Sasquatch Show. Squatch. Squatch soap. soap. I put Squatch in there and I still said Sasquatch. I'm oh. sorry. Just kidding now. Joe got a couple of beers, a case of beer and a couple yeah. of baseball bats and went out Squatch hunting the uh, other day. I also hit golf balls. Don't forget that. You hit golf balls? Yeah. Did you really? Just, yeah. Just 
Yeah. Randomly, and I knock somebody yeah. out. It just happens. You hit that guy! He shouldn't have been standing there. Okay, right. so now on the YouTube, thanks to AK and Steel Wheel, we are giving away the Steel Wheel Gina, complete with box. There it is. And over on AK's blog, we're giving away the Steel Wheel 230 Druid. This bad boy comes with a box and a sheath. Wow. I'll show you. There she is. Whoa, wow. I don't know if I want nice? to show off. Actually. Hey, look. Clark can, cook. Clark can carve the Christmas turkey with this. He ain't carving nothing. You've seen that turkey. <laughs> you serious, Clark? <laughs> All right. Okay, so make sure to answer the AK trivia question to be entered to win. Okay, so we're back to the CVV Elementum in All right. fixed blade. I'm going to let you do the specs. I am all right. All right. All right, all right. Currently available in two different versions, the black, red, and blackout. This version is... Wait, wait, hold on. I'm waiting. I'm slow. A point there you go. four okay. eight inch overall with a 3.98 inch 10 CR15 Como V steel blade with jimping. Yep. Don't forget that. Cannot. Satin finish on this version. Hollow grind and it comes in at about mm, 59, 60, call it 61 on the HRC scale. That's great. Handle is black contour G10 and features red or orange liners and accents, especially around the nickel silver pins. Handle is 4.5 inches and shows off a black paracord lanyard, which of course means there's a lanyard hole, mm -hmm. and comes with a black leather sheath. So, there it is. That's nice. Test for sheath shimmy. Hold on. <laughs> Nothing. You know, somebody asked about sheath shimmy. That's the first I've ever heard of that. Yeah. It's from a comment somebody had made. Yeah. Um, or maybe, I can't remember. I think it was a comment. So, you so know how we are. We, we, do we it. run with it forever. <laughs> yeah, it's like a. I don't know it's how to explain it. The joke that won't die. All right. So, the other version yep. features a black D2 blade yep. and a textured G10 handle. And this elementum is fixed blade form. Starts only at seventy-four fifty. Seventy-four fifty. There it is. And the uh, the D two one also comes with a Kydex sheath. Wow. Instead of the leather one, I like that one because wow. that as you hear that click. That's dual purpose. Take and that one out. When you're I can't woods. hear a thing. The other one's your dress knife. <laughs> yeah, All right. Really? Yeah. You get in full dress uniform. <laughs> in the middle of the room. Okay. <sighs> All right. You go first. Well, I am torn. I am, Let me tell you I why. I am not torn. Go ahead. I like them and I like the design like of the sheath here. This sheath is excellent made. It was well thought, it was well thought out. Intelligent. Mm -hmm. Lucid. Lucid. Go ahead. I'm just not sure we needed a Civivi fixed blade. Are you kidding me right now? But I like it. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, we have other ones. I cannot believe he is taking my line. I'm not taking your line. You are. You are. Right there. I just don't think they needed to do this. Oh, is that what you were going to say? Oh. <laughs> I went four years old and stuck my tongue out because that's the way I grow. It comes with a cleaning cloth and I didn't bring it, but there's sticker. There's an actual sticker. It's in the shape of a knife. Did you so, just say I went four years old and stuck, and my, stuck tongue. my tongue yeah. out? Because <laughs> you're stealing, you're just stealing other people's lines. Come somebody's up with your own a, original Somebody's about to do thoughts. a nan nanny boo boo. <laughs> I might even put my hands on the mat. Okay. <laughs> I was so, going to do it, but I figured you would. Yeah. Yes. All okay. right. I know why they did this. Mm -hmm. We all know why they did this. Okay. Popular name on a fixed blade. Okay. And I think they did it relatively where I just don't think they needed to do it. Mm. I'd also have to do some research on the 10 CR15 Como V. Yeah, I, I, because it's a little more in price. I think this one's like 84. Yeah, I mean, I it might like be better than D2, and we just don't realize it. Uh, okay. And we um, don't know everything. Open to suggestion well. there. I like the original Elementum with all its handle colors, material options, mm -hmm. and flipper set. I just think that the Elementum works better as a flipper. They could have easily just taken this and called it something else. But I guess they figured, you know, we'll name it the Elementum and people will talk about it. You know, I do have one more small beef, though. Beef. I think that the sheath there on the bottom where it's blocked off should have been rounded. I think it looks a little beefy. Bulky? Yeah, just yeah. kind of rounded the edges. It gives you the illusion that it's a big, thick blade and then you take it out and it's mm -hmm. not. Maybe it's just to make sure, you know, nothing pokes out or anything. But, you know, this kind of goes with a lot of the real steel fixed blades. That's what it kind of reminds me of. 
I like the little lanyard. Same price that. point, similar. Very we like because we and yeah. we are the same person. So. Like All right. It. So I moving like the on now. I like that one better though. Next blade on the table. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Is it really? Wow. It is the TFG, which stands for. Oh, you're gonna tools for gents. Oh, that's what I thought. Eastwood Tiger. Epic uh -oh. fail. Fail. Major fail. Yeah. I'll handle the specs. Fine. I should oh, probably yeah. handle the knife too. But <coughs> I think if you want to handle this knife, you're gonna have to pry it from my cold dead hands. <laughs> okay. So the TFG Eastwood tools for gents, by the way, is made by Fox Knives and designed by Van Poppel. Comes in three different options: red, black, and gray. Mm-hmm. You can choose to have a black or red version with this logo written across the blade, which I actually like on this knife, just because it's a cool logo and not the HRC of the blade. In case you guys didn't catch that, that was a subtle dig at extreme ratio. Go ahead. Okay, overall, these line of locks are 9 inches with a 3.78 inch D2 steel blade. Available in black finish, stone wash finish, and gray finish. Handles are aluminum, red, black, or gray with detailing, depending on your choices. Mm -hmm. Blade operates on ball bearings and are opened with the curved flipper stud. Finally, all versions have jimp backspacers and tip-up pocket clips. Wow. So, all right. what are you thinking there, Joel? I'm thinking I'm going to have to sell my other kidney. <laughs> Can I work with just one kidney? I feel like I can't, but... I thought you were I currently working it. with one kidney. <laughs> Can I, oh, can I work with no kidneys? You know so what? No kidneys. We'll loan you a few dollars on that other kidney. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Just take it out on loan. Be like you can have my kidney in pieces. I'll just pay it off slowly. I mean, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's great, especially in red. It's kind of got. I know it's going to sound really weird, but like a a used T-shirt type of handle. I don't think that works, but I like it. Comfortable is what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the color. Slightly worn. Yeah. I like that look. I go for the one with the giant logo on it. That's just me. This is a very heavy duty blade, but in a good way. I like how it opens. I like that it's made in Italy. I like it all. I do think they could have put a little jimping maybe on the jimp flipper or the flipper stud. The thing and, just looks fast out the box, doesn't it? And a little on the blade. Mm -hmm. And maybe a reversible pocket clip, but I'm just nitpicking. What about you? Well, I obviously didn't like the gigantic logo because I actually picked these out and didn't pick the gigantic logo. Mm -hmm. Other surprise, than that. You could steal everything, but. <laughs> Not that. I like the design. I like the uh, I like the way it feels in your hand. It's the size that I like. The steel D2, I mean, that's adequate. adequate. Other than that, adequate. it's a nice gentleman's kit. And it comes with a pouch. Yes. And does. we're currently seeing if it actually comes with a patch. Yeah, for some reason, we don't have patches on yeah. ours. People think that these things are mass manufactured and they just all look exactly the same and they do not. You might get six in a box. <laughs> Inconsistency. That's what we had. Well, that's what happens when you work with human beings. All right. So. You don't say. You don't say. <laughs> Let's and I just think go for only two hundred and twenty nine eighty four from AtlanticKnife.com that you couldn't not get one. Okay. All right. I agree with that. Okay. Great. Last knife up. Kinda. No. No. Kinda. <laughs> We're not doing that other one currently. She's talking about off. the uh, Ontario Tac 2. We were going to do that this week, but for some odd reason, we only got one. And it's not in our system. And it just disappeared. It's not there. <laughs> we got the I one. have the knife, but apparently the computer is like, this does not exist in this dojo. So, who knows? Forget about it. Maybe we'll get to it next week. Ontario hiking knife. All right. You doing the specs? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. Do them in. Great. So, this knife is perfect for traveling to trails as it this light piece only comes in at about 5.1 ounces. Yes, you heard correctly. It's just 8.2 inches overall with a 3.4 inch 420 HC stainless steel blade and plain edge. It's about 52.55 on the HRC scale, has a satin finish and a full flat taper grind. The handle on this fixed blade has a multicolored micarta handle and features a lanyard hole on the extended tank. Lastly, this knife comes with a brown leather belt sheath, complete nice. with belt loop, and was made in the grand old U.S. of A. Yes, I like this sheath a lot. Very. How much very do you snazzy. like it? Do you like it for sixty nine ninety five? Sixty nine ninety five worth. Yes, I buy it. 
pay sixty nine dollars for this. All yep, right. I get it. You can go ahead though. I'll let right. you go first. I am the same way. I really like this knife. Okay. I like the design on the uh, on the handle there. I have seen that before. It is cool. And I can't quite place where I've seen it at. Neither can I. Mm -hmm. It's like you know you've seen it, but you haven't seen it at the same time. But this looks like a knife that I would take out and I would use. All the time? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I it's agree. in that price range where I wouldn't feel like I have destroyed something. Exactly. That I didn't want to destroy. I think this fixed blade is for me. Very cool Makarta handle, good solid construction, durable blade, full tang, grants the user even more stability. Mm -hmm. I like the sheath. Actually, I love the sheath because it's just pretty. That's all I got. That's all I have to say about that. You can't beat Purdy. <laughs> exactly. We'll stop on Purdy. Well, that's great. All right. So, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you've got that notification bell rung. That way you can see when we post new reviews, episodes, and any other surprises. We aren't hinting at anything that's happening in two weeks. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Zilch. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Parlor. I didn't steal it this week. Thanks. Where you can get outdoor gear, updates, knife pictures, and so blessed. much, much more. With the hope of my mother-in-law finally moving She's out. She's got the U-Haul. <laughs> Possibly. I'm C, and this is Jewel. Just Jewel, and we are signing off.